committees 24 people are part of three committees which are to look at research teaching and administration right? even before we go on i'm going to tell you that if you have not tried this question look at this look at the detail solve the question find the answer try it out before you see the video no two committees have any member in common this is very useful this means we are not looking at a set theory type framework no two committees are of the same size this also helps each committee has three types of people bureaucrats educationalists and politicians i didn't even know educationalist was a word with at least one from each of the three types in each committee wonderful so no committee is empty uh, committees have uh, three committees for research teaching and administration each committee should have at least one bureaucrat at least one educationalist at least one politician so each committee should have at least three people 24 to start with and no intersections like this the following facts are also known about the committees the number of bureaucrats in research and teaching committees are equal so bureaucrats research equal to teaching well the number of bureaucrats in the research committee is 75 percent of the number of bureaucrats in the administration so this is 0.75 of admin the number of educationalists in the teaching committee is less than the number of educationalists in the research committee and the number of educationalists in the research committee is the average of the number of educationalists in the other two committees so something about educationalists something about bureaucrats something about politicians 60 percent of the politicians are in the administration committee 20 percent are in the teaching committee the remaining 20 percent should be in research and so, so how the data is laid out is very important i think we're going to think about uh, research teaching administration bureaucrats educationalist politicians and look to fill in numbers in each of these categories in some form these three together will give research these three teaching admin and everything put together will add up to 24. once we know how the data is laid out these kind of things are much simpler to solve and there are four questions at the end so this is how the data is going to be laid out bureaucrats educationalists politicians research teaching admin at least one in each each committee has three types of people with at least one in each one 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 is a minimum and the number of bureaucrats in research and teaching committees are equal if you take bureaucrats r equal to t and r is 0.75 of b whatever b is research is three fourths of that or bureaucrat to research should be in the ratio of 4 is to 3 teaching is equal to this teaching should also be 3 research to teaching to admin sorry 0.75 of administrative committee not bureaucrats administrating to research is 4 is to 3 or research to teaching to admin is 3 is to 3 is to 4 this number is 3 fourth of this number why are we taking like this we we'll are talking about number of people it has to be whole numbers so we don't want to think in terms of 0 0.75 0 0.75 1 better to think in terms of 3 3 4 3 3 4 3x 3x 4x total amounting to 10x 60 percent of the politicians are in the administration committee as you can imagine they don't have much business with research and training and so 60% of politicians are here. So if you take the politician group, 60% are here, 20% are in teaching and 20% will be in research because there's no overlap. So this should be in the ratio 2 is to 2 is to 6 or 1 is to 1 is to 3 or we put it as y, y, y adding up to 5y. So the number of educationalists in the teaching committee is less than number of educationalists in the research committee. This is all right. The number of educationalists in the research committee is the average of number of educationalists in the other two committees. We take this is A, this is B, this is A plus B by 2. This is a big giveaway. We also know 
the number of educationalists in the teaching committee is less than that in the research committee. So A is less than A plus B by 2, which should be less than B. This is the average of A and B. If A is less than this, B should be more than that. And more than that, these three, this is the average of these three. The, the middle term is the average of this and this, or these three terms are, are in AP. Or the total is three times the middle term. And so this is the average of these two. Or A, A plus B by 2, B will be in AP. Or the number totally will be a multiple of 3. 3 times A plus B by 2 if we add all this. Okay. Which is very interesting because this has to be a multiple of 3. Now, I am not interested in these numbers. I am very interested in these numbers. But the total is 24. We have a multiple of 10, a multiple of 3, a multiple of 5. And the multiple of 10 can only be 10 or 20. Because we cannot have 30 from bureaucrats alone because only 24 people are there totally. Educationalist has to be 3, 6, 9, 12, one of these. Politicians has to be 5, 10, 15, one of these. Now think about this. Even if this were 5, this 20 is ruled out. So this has to be 10. <coughs> so the number of bureaucrats has to be 10. This has to be 3, this has to be 3, this has to be 4, this has to be 10. This could be 5 or 10, it cannot be 15. If it were 5, 10 plus 5 is 15, there will be 9 remaining. If there are 10, 10 plus 10 is 20, there will be 4 remaining. We cannot have 4 remaining because this has to be a multiple of 3 or we have completely solved the entire grid in terms of the totals. This total is 10, this total should be 5, this total should be 9. Now we know this is the average of the 3. If this is 9, this should be 3. A is less than this. So A could be 2 or A could be 1. B is more than this. B could be 4 or B could be 5. If you fill the entire grid, this is 3, 3, 4, 1, 1, 3. This has to be 3. These two could be 2 and 4 or 1 and 5. They add up to 6. But it could be 2 and 4 or 1 and 5. We don't have more clarity here. But everything else we have filled in completely. And so, very uh, interesting question. Very simple question. Once we know that the data has to be laid out like this. Very The big temptation here is to draw Venn diagram. That one sentence which says there is no overlap. Tells us that we shouldn't go for this. We should go for this. Okay. Now let's move to the questions. Based on the information given, which of the following statements must be false? In the administration committee, the number of bureaucrats is equal to number of educationalists. Admin committee, bureaucrats equal to educationalists. This is 4. This could be 4. So this is possible or it is possibly true. So we cannot say must be false. The size of the research committee is less than the size of the training committee. This is 7. This, this should be 6 or 5 depending on this number. Size of the research committee is less than the size of the teaching committee. That is definitely false. It could be 6 or 5. Either way it is more. This is a choice we are looking for. The size of the research committee is less than the size of the administration committee. 7. That is 11 or 12. This is true. In the teaching committee, the number of educationalists is equal to the number of politicians. Teaching committee, educationalists equal to number of politicians. Possibly true. Number of educationalists could be one. In this case, one and one. Definitely false is this one. Choice two. What is the number of bureaucrats in the administration committee? Bureaucrats in admin. Four. Done. Very simple. What is the number of educationalists in the research committee? Educationalists, research, three, done. Which of the following cannot be determined uniquely based on the given information? The total number of educationalists in the three committees. 
total number of educationalists is 9 this can be found the total number of bureaucrats in the three committees this is 10 again can be found the size of the teaching committee this could be 6 or 5 this cannot be found size of the research committee this is 7 this can be found which of the following cannot be found that is size of the teaching committee it could be 6 or it could be 5 